lot of people come to hammock forums looking for information on how to hang their hammock. They find out lots of hammock forums people have uh, optimized their suspensions, modified them in various ways. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of information in sight. You have to dig for it. So I thought that maybe I would coalesce some of that by making a video that pointed out some of the basics of hanging one's uh, hammock using webbing or using cord. So, let's see what we can do. Webbing-based suspension systems for hammocks are popular largely because you don't have to tie any knots and you can put the hammock up very quickly. So you can get a piece of webbing like this from Strapworks. It's an inch wide, made out of Polypro, heavy duty. Strapworks will put a loop into it, they'll sew in a loop, but like so, we're going to hang a carbiner off of that. But if you're not afraid of knots and don't want to sew, then you can put in a figure eight, fold it over about eight inches, double it over twice, bring that loop through, and now you have a loop through which you can put a carbiner, like so, and this will fit right around to the tree, as we'll see. Go up to your tree, wrap your carbiner around, put on, now just unroll your hammock. the webbing onto the other carbiner. At this point, you can uh, adjust the suspension. You may want to uh, raise or lower the hammock with respect to the tree. You might want to shorten or lengthen the webbing. Almost surely when you're using rings, you're going to want to put a, a stopper knot in. But once it's all set up, voila! We've got a hammock, hung and ready to go. I'll give you a concrete example. This is a hammock I got off of the internet. Actually, they're only nine dollars. Uh, at nine dollars, I got a couple of them. So here's another one. They came with uh, some cheap rope uh, in the end of the end channels. Uh, it wasn't something that I was going to use. Uh, so I took the rope out. You can see what we have then is here uh, a channel through which that rope went. It's about an inch and a half wide. And what we want to do now is figure out a way of attaching a piece of the suspension to the hammock using this channel in one way, shape, or form. So the way that I've done it on this one is to take uh, some uh, Amstel blue. Here I take uh, 30 inches of it and uh, put in a double fisherman's bend like so. So now I have a loop. And with this loop I can do many things. One of the things I'll do is to attach this loop to a pair of SMC descending rings. And what I'm going to do is just put a Prusik knot around that. Do this quickly. And then dress the knot. And so now I've got a device. It's got an attachment at one end and a loop. And somehow I need to get it attached to the end of the hammock. So one thing that I can do is I can just run it right through this channel. So I could start doing that. And that'll check. I can start doing that. Feed this in. Takes a while. Aha, Eureka, I have found it. So now we've put that all the way through the channel and take the rings and put them through this loop. And now we have something that we can attach to. Some people don't want to trust the weight of themselves to the strength of the stitching in uh, a channel that they sew or that anybody else sews. And so the idea then is to um, put this loop around on the outside of the hammock. So one way of doing that, illustrated here, is I've taken a piece of mason line and run that through the channel. And now what I'm going to do is double the channel back over on itself and tighten this up. Okay, and what I have done then is to create sort of a lump of fabric at the end of the hammock and around this lump of fabric then right in this region I can 
Prusik on or Lark's head on uh, this device like so. The finished product on the hung hammock um, where I've done a Prusik knot around this lump of fabric. And basically um, all you really need to have is enough fabric at this end so this knot isn't going anywhere. And if you do that, then this is a secure way of securing your hammock. So the hammock I've hung is um, got connectors, two different kind of connectors. We've got the rings on one end and the cinch buckles on the other. You see the way the, the rings work is you bring the strap through the middle of the two rings and then force it in between the two rings like so. This knot right here acts to hold the rings together as an anchor and for safety's sake it's useful to uh, put in a slippery half hitch right there uh, to keep the fabric, to keep the webbing from uh, slipping through. You can see with the cinch buckle we have something similar going on. The webbing comes up through the middle of the cinch buckle and then is fed through this gap here and then it's straightforward to loosen it or tighten it as need be. And it's no great hassle to put in a slippery half hitch there as well to keep things from, uh, from sliding. And once again we use a Prusik right here. Uh, Jacks are better sells a package called Triglides that comes with uh, some long uh, webbing here. It's an inch wide and it's black. And these cool little devices that are called Triglides, which are sliders that go onto the webbing. And as you can see, it's just a matter of attaching the webbing to the hammock and then wrapping it around the tree and then taking the, uh, the webbing back through the Triglide. So let's see how that works. Now you see with the Triglide, it's threaded onto uh, the webbing. We just bring this end of the webbing around the tree. I'm going to take it around a couple of times. Gives a little more grab. And I'll take this free end. I'm just going to slide it through these two slots in the triglide. I have belts that work this way. Put that through. Put this in through like so. There we are. The connection. The webbing that comes with the triglide set has a loop at one end. And at this end of the hammock, what I've done is I've taken the webbing and fed it through that channel. And then took the uh, free end of the webbing and put it through that loop. As you can see, it's sewn. And then it's tightened down like so. But you don't need to have uh, a channel to use uh, this rig. Here is the loop. Now, the free end of the webbing is fed through that around the end of the hammock. We've got our ball of fabric, as we said before, and that works as well. So as you can see, it's easy to get a turnkey set of straps. If that's what you want, uh, just go to JRB. Now at this point you can adjust the suspension, you can make uh, either side longer or short if you like, change the adjustment on the tree. And just like that, you fall on the ground. <laughs>